I try and answer every single comment I get on my YouTube channel. The reason I do that is for the 80-20 principle and because I love what I do and I want to connect with the people who most love what I do also or who have critical feedback that can help me. So for example, here's a good in detailed question. If people are willing to spend time to ask questions, these are likely some of the more enthusiastic people watching my channel. I have had millions of views on my channel. I've only had a few thousand comments. So these are the top 1% of people on my channel. It's very important to respond to these top 1% with a genuine, authentic answer. How many times have you posted comments, questions on social media, and you would have loved to have gotten a response? Well, people love getting a response. So if you have a YouTube channel, it's critical. Try and respond to every single comment you get, not just for your love of what you're doing and not just to get more subscribers, but to provide a genuine interaction with someone who spent time watching your videos, someone who's taken their time to watch what you've created, give them a little something back with a comment. The longer and deeper your comment, the more it can be appreciated. And if you want even more reason to do this, Google Plus notices all these comments. You will get your videos ranked higher on Google when they have interaction. Google wants people watching good YouTube videos. And another reason you want to see questions like this, especially where someone's posted critical feedback, you want to be able to learn from what they share. Sean has reinforced points I already had in mind about this video and encouraged me to make sure I don't just leave this up there without putting a better version of it on YouTube. You want to see what people are thinking about your channel. And the best comments, when someone shares a very personal comment, it is worth it to take the time to share a very personal response. When you share yourself honestly and openly on social media, the best options you usually have will be to genuinely connect with people for real, not trying to put on a face, but to provide a genuine, honest response. You have the chance to inspire someone. You have the chance to just be yourself without worrying about what people think. I know there's lots of opportunities for fear. Well, what if this happens? What if that happens? 99.9% .9 of the time, that won't happen. And the other 0.1% of the time, you won't be able to have prepared for it fully. So I just try and go through and answer all the questions as best I can. If you can see, uh, it takes a lot of effort, the bigger your channel gets, to go through and answer and respond to everyone. I'm scrolling down. These are all just within the week. And I've tried to go through and respond to all of these. Now, sometimes I miss some of these follow-up discussions. What the easiest response to give is just a thank you. So at a bare minimum, you want to try and go through and see I missed this comment. If you want to tr go through now, check your YouTube comments and try and respond to each one of them if you have any. If you don't have any, plan on being willing to respond to the comments. Often you'll find what you're trying to do in life produces a lot of unexpected results. So I just wanted to make a huge YouTube channel. I didn't realize how many comments I would then have on that channel. So no matter where you're at, you always will have work to do. The bigger your channel gets, you literally could spend 10 or 15 hours a week responding to YouTube comments if you make a huge channel that can make you enough money to make a full-time job. You might be willing to respond to those comments if you could get paid. But the thing is, you aren't likely to get paid until you've responded to a lot of comments already. So if you want to get paid to make videos on YouTube, go through and respond to all those comments, or at least most all the comments, 
as you can see I've done back through the last several weeks on my channel. And you can get your most active fans engaged because most of the views on your videos will come from the same people watching them. You want to really cater towards that top 1-10% to of your audience who will sit there and watch every single video you make. You can find out who that is, get to know them, learn what they want you to do, and much more than that, all in the YouTube comments. To get to the YouTube comments, you go to the Creator Studio, you click on your name, and you go to your Creator Studio, and then they are the default thing when you click on Community, comments come up. Now, messages, YouTube's retiring them, messages are no longer something that is an area of interaction on YouTube. So you want to focus on comments and answer those comments as best you can. Thank you for watching this and I hope this has been useful for you.